Let's click on the Maximize Viewport Toggle tool, which is located at the bottom right. This way we can see the four main windows, also referred to as viewports. Now, the four main windows or viewports that you see in here are the top, and here's the way we learn about their name by looking at the upper left corner. We have the top, the front, the left, and the perspective view. Okay, now to get a better understanding on how these work or what are those viewports, I will go ahead and create an object. So I'll click on the teapot and I'll go ahead and create an object like this one. Here it is. I'll click on the zoom extends all that will center the object in all viewports in the center. And let's go ahead and take a look at the top view. So the same object or the same teapot that we have on the perspective view. Here's the angle that we're going to look at the top. So every other viewport except the perspective that gives you a two-dimensional look of that the object. So it has a screenshot from the top, there's a screenshot from the front, from the left, and here is an angle view. Okay, now by default, your three uh, viewports except the perspective one are going to be on a wireframe mode. So you will see something like this if you were to follow along. Okay, mine, I already turned those on so I saw the highlight mode but you will see a wireframe mode. Now you can always go back and change that so I can click on wireframe and say smooth plus highlights. Okay. Alright, now it is very important to learn how to uh, get around the viewports and it is extremely important to check your object or your animation or your model in all of the viewports. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are driving a car and you are only looking in the front. If you don't look in the mirrors to the left, to the right, and the one in the back, then you're not going to get a full control of your driving. It's the same way. So if you do not look at all viewports, then your model is not going to be very precise and you will end up failing that model. So Again, it is extremely important to learn how to move your eye around the viewport and how to position an object that looks where you want to be and how fast the object, if you were to animate, you want to go and how far has it gone by looking at all four viewports. Next, I am going to click on the Select and Move tool. Now, notice as soon as I click I see a gizmo, what it's called, on my object. Now the gizmo, let's go ahead and activate the perspective view. So I'll go ahead and right click on that. That's the way you activate a view, or you can click or right click. Now, the way you know that this view is, or viewport is activated is by looking at the bounding box, the yellow bounding box. So I can go to the left, to the top, to the front. I'm going to activate the perspective, and I'll go ahead and maximize that by using the same tool which is at the lower right corner. And here it is. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the gizmo. The gizmo shows the X, Y, and Z coordinates, or we can refer to them as the coordinate to the left, to the right, and in and out. So there is an extra coordinate from a two-dimensional world, the coordinate in and out, and that is the Y coordinate. So the Z coordinate goes up and down, left to right the X coordinate and the Y coordinate is, a, it is in and out. Now notice at the bottom, we were talking about this, notice that the X, Y and Z change as we move the object to left to right. So I'm going to move it left to right, here is the X coordinate. I'm going to move it up and down so the Z coordinate changes. And I'm going to move it left to right so the Y coordinate changes. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and Hit the maximize viewport toggle again. Now, note, take a look at the object as it's moving on the four viewports. If I move left to right, then which take a guess which uh, view in which viewport the object does not move? That is the left one. See that? Now, if I move up and down, then the top viewport the object is not going to move because you are looking at the top. You're not moving left to right or in and out. Okay. And then if I move in and out, the front one 
does not change. See that? Okay, so that is on you know how you move an object using the select and move tool and how to get around the viewports as you move the object and keep looking at the viewports for a better position of your object.